Hey, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Swapnil Besht. I'm a senior director with Infosys. As part of my responsibilities, I look, I head uh, the Infosys SAP practice within the utilities vertical in North America. On behalf of uh, both SAP and Infosys, I welcome uh, you all to this webinar today. Uh, we have speakers from uh, both Infosys and SAP. And uh, just, just to take a, give a quick background, uh, Infosys and SAP jointly started a webinar series a few months back. And as part of that series, uh, we did the first webinar, which was more focused on the financial transformation in the mid-size utilities. Today's webinar is focused on the customer information system, the CIS system within the mid-size utilities. Uh, we, uh, we will focus on our understanding of uh, the challenges that mid-size utilities face in the customer and the billing space and uh, how SAP's CRNB platform brings the digital platform and the digital capabilities that will help bring the efficiencies that mid-size utilities look for in the customer and the billing space. And also Infosys as a system integrator, how can we help from not only starting your uh, uh, journey from various kind of assessments to bringing different kind of tools and accelerators to help move this journey faster and get you to the digital platform and to the market much more faster. Having said that, uh, I have uh, speakers today from SAP, it's Anthony, and from Infosys, it's Dipankar. And I'll invite both of them to take us through this informative uh, webinar today. Uh, Anthony, Dipankar, if you can introduce yourselves and then uh, take us through the webinar. Thanks, Sapnil. Uh, this is Dipankar. Uh, I am a senior industry principal for Infosys, and I head the global delivery for SAP utilities. Great. Thanks, Dipankar. Thanks, Swapnil. Uh, my name is Anthony Sabatini. I'm part of SAP's um, customer experience um, line of business within utilities, um, where we specifically um, own and are responsible for uh, delivering um, the CX portfolio for our utilities um, here in North America. Um, and I'm primarily responsible for our utilities in the in the east, I'm sorry, in the west, and then part of the central. So great to be here today and look forward to uh, another great webinar. Thanks, Anthony. Thanks, Dipankar. Uh, uh, I believe we can go to the next slide, uh, Rohit. Yeah. Anthony, over to you. All right, great. So from a uh, from a trends perspective, I mean, it's, you know, it's always good to see and always good to talk about, you know, the trends that we're seeing within the utilities industry. Um, maybe the good and bad thing is, is when we think or talk about trends, um, they typically haven't deviated too much from year to year. Um, whether it's infrastructure improvements to renewable sustainability, um, utilities attempting to uh, drive new revenue models and new um, revenue streams. Um, the focus has been fairly consistent within utilities um, for, from an industry perspective. However, we're con we continue to hear two words more and more within the industry um, from the utility leaders, uh, from the regulators, from our customers. Um, and those two words are disruption and transformation. Some could be viewed as a negative words or even positive words. And really, from an SAP and emphasis perspective, we see them as both. Um, the changing demands of our customers um, means that they're trying to operate um, differently, uh, more efficiently, uh, but also from a utilities perspective, really driving that transformation um, to really kind of help also the efficiencies and the true operation and customer service um, that our utilities are continuing to drive. Um, as we've seen the you know, unprecedented events of 2020 um, and even events prior to the pandemic, we continue to see these three trends that are really revamping the industry um, and the things that SAP is doing to address them, the things that Ephesus are attempting to are doing to address them, uh, with current successful implementations and their current implementations. But I'll just touch on these briefly. Um, but, you know, I think one that's really, that's really important here is, you know, really driving 
the utilities and their businesses uh, from a digital platform perspective and seeing really the need for cloud native technologies um, and you know, really helping to drive the efficiency of the utility um, from a support perspective, from an IT uh, vantage point, but also from a business need um, and having those digital technologies available to do things um, such as automation, uh, machine learning, um, to really kind of give those insights that our customers are seeing. So again, from an SAP perspective, SAP is addressing you know, what we're seeing from a utility trends perspective and offering CIS in the cloud um, from a private cloud um, offering, whether that's whether you're running SAP legacy or looking to move uh, to the next generation um, S4 HANA for utilities. So um, again, I'll leave you just with these uh, with just with this viewpoint here of kind of what we're seeing in these three trends and how they're really interconnected. And we'll talk a little bit about that today. All right, great. So, you know, from a from an industry perspective, um, you know, seeing what we've seen um, within the industry from, you know, when I started in the utilities industry 20 years ago um, within the call center, um, and having you know really spent that across customer service, IT, um, even with our partners implementing SAP, um, and now with SAP strategizing with a number of our utilities um, in North America. Um, unfortunately, we're seeing a lot of these common themes that are faced by our customers that are running running legacy CISs, um, and you know a lot of these legacy customer services systems really don't differ too much. Um, but, you know, we're seeing kind of these constant challenges around user uh, usability, um, operational efficiencies, having the insights of real data. But whether we're talking to um, executives, whether we're doing IT workshops, um, sitting with a CSR or back office clerk to kind of understand their job a little bit better, um, you know, utilities are adversely being impacted, you know, to some degree with their meter to cash process. And again, we have some of these um, challenges here that are really are just common things um, that we've seen in talking with our customers and things that utilities um, from a business and IT perspective are attempting really to, to, to really kind of just to solve some of these. So, you know, from a utility standpoint, um, you know, it's utilities, it's a unique business. So there are a lot of complex processes complex business rules, some that are having to be adhered to from a regulatory perspective um, that aren't really faced by other industries. Um, so with some of these themes here um, that we've heard from our customers that are things that they, you know, as challenges became some of their drivers to start their CIS modernization and transformation projects. Um, you know, again, these are the things that we're continuing to see um, and I'll just touch on a few of these briefly. Um, and again, some of the things that from an SAP perspective, an emphasis perspective, how we're addressing these. But um, I think we continue to see rate design uh, being very difficult and timely and even expensive. Um, the unifying of customer data across all the systems, whether it's just within the CIS, but being able to pass that to third party systems, an OMS system, um, a data warehouse, um, or even extended across to assets or finance. Um, we're also seeing the flexible uh, credit collection rules and exception rules. And you know, now having the days of um, you know sending IT tickets and doing enhancements, taking time just to be able to change credit collections rules, um, you know, that has been troublesome. And some of those things have been addressed um, with the next generation um, CISs. Um, also, some of the uh, real-time data and transactions. Um, but, you know, as we kind of move forward into how the utility model is changing, now being able to deploy new products and programs um, as non-commodity um, lines of businesses are being stood up, being able to fully incorporate that into the utility bill. So a customer sees ev everything that they're doing business with the utility, but also on the back end, a front office employee being able to see everything that the customer is doing with the utility. Um, and then finally, you know, one of the uh, continued, uh, you know, issues and challenges, really just the lack of quality and timely reporting and analytics. Again, continuing to kind of have those, 
have those great insights. Um, and again, some of these drivers have forced utilities to make this transformation and modernization. Um, and because of some of these challenges, um, have really kind of forced um, the utilities to really kind of move towards the future. All right, great. Next slide. And so from an SAP perspective, um, SAP has been serving the industry since 1988. Um, started with 18 utilities in Europe, um, then up in the Utility Center of Expertise in North America in 1994. Um, since then, there's been a full investment. There's been releases of uh, four versions of the utility solution, um, thought leadership, um, high investments uh, from an R&D perspective, um, but I think what's really important for our customers is the permanent collaboration um, with the partners, with our customers, to really drive home the betterment of the utility core processes from a meter to cash perspective. Customer experience, you know, smart grids, AMI integration, all the things that utilities are dealing with today or plan to deal with um, going forward, but also kind of serving the regulated um, entities and even the DREG and some of the retail um, and even across asset management and some of the CRM functions. But, you know, from an SAP perspective, um, SAP continues to be the market leader um, with, you know, over 2000 utilities using SAP CIS um, and really kind of helping kind of drive CRM and billing. Um, but, you know, I think what's really important here is kind of seeing, you know, where we are from a um, from a from a customer standpoint and what our customers are saying about SAP and also about emphasis. Um, you know, SAP's partner ecosystem um, extends over 1500 partners. We have great partners from a technology perspective, from a services perspective like emphasis. Um, and, you know, emphasis is helping leading, is helping to lead the utilities in their digital transformation and their customer uh, transformation. And we're seeing that with recent successful go lives, current projects that are happening today with even our mid-size utilities. Um, so, you know, they are responsible for a number of those projects um, and the continued success of SAP, but also, also with our customers. And so from an offering perspective, so how is SAP and emphasis doing this? Um, we're really doing this by offering the next generation CIS. Um, and that's, you know, really from a technology perspective, uh, but also with the partnership of emphasis from a um, implementation perspective, from a discovery perspective and being able to, you know, really start these projects sooner, getting quicker value um, to the utility, to the customers. And by doing that, really there's really have kind of the six pillars. I think one of the things that we continue to hear um, is user experience from our customers, the usability of, of the new system or the need to be able to um, to really kind of drive home, um, you know, better customer service and better employee service. Um, you know, employee satisfaction is important. Um, so having now a um, a, a user interface that's easy to you, that's really tile based from a Fiori perspective. Um, we're seeing a lot of great value and a great a lot of great success stories and benefits from our customers, um, such as short, shorting um, our training time. So, you know, long training cycles for new hires or incumbent training um, have been significantly cut um, in half um, in 60%, 65% in some cases. Um, just having to not really have to focus on learning the system, but just learning the business processes. Uh, we've talked about analytics, um, but you know, really from a from an SAP perspective, having that fast visualization, the view of production data uh, to help with KPIs, real time dashboards for leadership and executives, um, but also really kind of see that operational data in real time um, and be, you know make better decisions um, around. A customer and, and employee and operation um, uh, uh, facts, things that need to happen in the field, things that need to happen in the call center. Um, a lot of the things that we're seeing now is machine learning. So these, from a machine learning perspective, things that are now built into the next generation CIS by SAP. Um, you know, really focusing on the back office, reducing the manual work from an exception perspective for meter reads and billing. Uh, the things that 
you know, it took an entire business unit with, you know, several FTEs um, to really work through from a day to day perspective, you know, building some automation and machine learning um, that's out of the box the things that we've seen over the last 20 years to really kind of help those clerks, um, but also help the utility and also help the customers. Um, from a CX perspective, again, kind of my, um, you know, something that's, you know, really important to me, but again, how we're offering um, customer service to, you know, to the front office employees and to our customers. Um, you know, really kind of supporting those utility processes, complex utility processes, but being able to give the customer the answer quickly, the accurate um, answer, um, but also making that seamless right across um, an, a customer's experience and also the utilities experience. Um, simplification. Um, again, you know, I think as we as we continue to see the utilities attempting to be as efficient as possible and rightfully so. Um, you know, finding better ways to kind of remove some of the redundancy, to remove the dependencies within these processes, um, to really kind of help kind of a central product, um, give them, you know, toolkits, frameworks that, you know, IT can, you know, really can, can help drive development and make changes as well as the business, uh, which is always an important. And then our value realization. Again, we talk about this a lot. Um, you know, some of the things that we've heard from our customers um, as they've moved to, um, you know, this, these next generation, this next generation CIS and the modernization of it. Um, and again, I think, you know, how you prepare these projects, how you plan for them, how you do blueprint pre-planning um, is very important and to really get that segmented value. And I think, um, DeMarco, I think you're going to talk a little bit about that, how we kind of set the stage for our customers to really kind of start these projects, get some early value, um, and then ultimately be successful like you guys have done with some of our great utilities here in North America. Thanks, thanks, Anthony. And uh, uh, as you uh, go ahead, uh, as you were describing, uh, the, the different challenges that utilities today are facing and the opportunities that they have today to serve the customers better one thing that comes to the mind is uh, how are we going to bring in these changes that are required in the project specific environments? So what I, what I mean by that is utilities today would be uh, looking for, uh, you would be looking for how you can bring in the project specific or overcome the project specific nuances that are there today in the project. There is a notion that SAP projects are, uh, are sometimes long, difficult, uh, they run uh, as monoliths, they, have, they consume a lot of time, effort, and uh, that's, uh, there, is a, there is some kind of a resistance to, to adopt to it. But uh, I am sure that as clients, as utilities, you are looking for um, a rapid prototype-driven approach in today's world, where uh, you build the core based on the maximum value that it, the core can uh, deliver to you and bring in the incremental features and functions on an agile and scalable mode okay the core uh, would be based on the uh, industry best practices uh, it would give the optimum in implementation cycle faster time to market it would avoid the cost overruns uh, this prototype driven kind of core show and tell approach enhances the user adoption. Um, Anthony was talking about users getting familiarized with the new, new applications. Uh, and that's, uh, that's an easier change management. Uh, this approach encourages uh, value discovery, uh, it should encourage value discovery and provides insight into the innovation. And it should create a platform for all future digital programs and transformations. That's what utilities would be looking for, uh, for a project which is transforming their code CIS. As we uh, do that, uh, next slide. Uh, uh, the, the solution that we actually try to bring in is our catalyst solution. Now, what is our catalyst solution? In a nutshell, it is a pre-configured solution in the code of it with enhancements specific to the industry requirements. Uh, it brings in the unique process coverage for electric, water, and gas utility. Uh, 
uh, it uh, brings in the use cases and solutions built on the built on the latest technologies and platforms it brings in a set of accelerators to the program the compliance is built in the solution itself and does not come in and sit as an additional component uh, it bundles licensing bundles enhancements upgrades and ams services so what you get is an end to end solution to deploy and run which is ready this solution is focusing uh, on uh, say industrialization for efficiency agility safety and resili resilience uh, and this solution is also focusing on digitization for the new business models for customers grid uh, workforce what we have seen that if you use this approach vis-a-vis -vis an approach where you don't bring in a solution like a catalyst um, uh, you get to gain 40 to 60 percent of cost and time reduction with infosys catalyst that's the proposition that we want to bring in to you now if you go to the uh, uh, building blocks of what does it catalyst what does the catalyst comprise of the catalyst at its core comprises of a ai powered s4 hana solution if this can be deployed on cloud it can be deployed on premise or you can use a hybrid approach the on on top of this core s4 hana solution you have uh, additional agile and digital solutions which is segment specific which comprises of the segment specific business scenarios when i talk about segment specific i talk about utilities or gas or uh, utilities like electricity gas or uh, water uh, it brings in interfaces enhancements data migration solutions platform use cases povs and accelerators embedded analytics role based security design all of that forms the solution around the core we were also talking about uh, learning correct so always on learning to help in your change management for that we have the demo ready user training pack ready to deploy fiori apps and dashboards along with this are our supporting accelerators uh, the end to end traceability established in solution manager there are 200 plus standard utility specific requirements and solutions documented supreme is our process repository ready to use documentations ensuring traceability covering bpmls functional specifications configuration documents customized security design for s4 hana template and role based metrics methodology integration accelerators for third parties and satellite systems l1 l2 l3 user trainings and demo ready business scenarios so that's what is the the are the building blocks of the catalyst if we go to the next uh, uh, slide here i am trying to pick up how exactly are the building blocks or the business capabilities or the pre packaged business capabilities come in if you look at this you will see that we are not talking at a high level in terms of the device management energy data management or a customer service or third party suppliers and all of that this goes into the specifics our processes that are there into the catalyst into the infosys catalyst goes into the specific like a periodic meter reading or meter reading monitoring or meter reading estimations or say trouble orders or how do you build up the business processes along along say uh, unmetered or street light billing or net net maintenance billing or loyalty programs low income customer billing pride and sub meter billing convergent billing invoice corrections tariff management if you look at the payment processes it just does not run at a high level but goes to the refunds processing or a returns processing or miscellaneous charges processing dispute management interest processing so all this goes into the details of how a utility today handle their processes and this is built on the core s4 hana isu uh, and s4 C and the sap c4 hana there are some uh, specifics like third party supplier processes which are still getting built into the core capabilities and it would be available in a very short period of time if i go to the next slide along with this core set of business processes uh, you will get the built in interfaces and enhancements 
These are based on your utilities experience. This is required for any utility. For example, the interfaces with IVR or a customer portal or an MDM or an iTron or a bill print or a bank interface. These are all required by all utilities and they interface with SAP. And what we bring to you is 15 plus, plus such interfaces which are ready-made, available from a specification perspective and can be very easily deployed into your solutions. Similarly, when you look at the enhancements, there are enhancements like uh, that we bring in on the security deposits. Each utility works in a different way. SSN masking becomes a very critical uh, requirement. Uh, tariff and device combinations, which Anthony was talking about, we need to bring in a rapid introduction of tariffs, how we bring it, and there are enhancements around that, account relationships, meter reading types. 50 plus enhancements are bundled into this core SAP Catalyst solution. Not only that, as we, as Anthony was talking about the, uh, the innovation part of it, for example, the customer experience, the intuitive UX, machine learning, simplification, analytics, we bring to you the, our investments on industry cloud solutions. And uh, what do they mean? That means they accelerate the adoption of integrated business models without business disruption. For example, take the case of prosumers or put the customer at the heart of the applications. And uh, that basically gives the 25 plus Infosys utility specific cloud solutions which are available depending on your requirement. The enhanced customer experience uh, with the solutions like personalized videos, customer self-service dashboards, renewables, installations and maintenance, tariff recommendations, these can be available, which can be built on top of the core catalyst. Similarly, for the intelligent analytics, uh, we can build in, uh, we can build a, a, an intelligence layer on top of your analytics layer for customers, uh, provide time of use tariff recommendations based on usage pattern, billing, and profiling. For utilities, predicting customer retention from the sentiment analysis, customer sentiments, service interaction history, and all of that. For operations, receivable and cash flow predictions based on geo profiling, payment history. These are the kind of solutions that can be built on top of it. Not only that, the DER solutions, the renewables, the installations to ROI catering to the consumers. Just look at it. Global installed, installed PV capacity is expected to grow by sixfold by 2030 from 2018, 2019. So all of this be will become a core of your solutions that you would be requiring. So uh, these are uh, uh, some of the uh, some of the additional Infosys utility specific cloud solutions that we would be bundled on top of it. Apart from that, we bring in the embedded analytics. This is primarily at the four at four levels. We bring in all the standard SPBW content and dashboards, with the possibility of enhancing the functionalities using SAP ETP, which is the business and tech technology platform, and SAP Analytics Cloud. We bring in the universe of the self-service to you, and you can guide you to enable in an agile self-service development. We can also guide you in the governance and standardization while you enable this self-service to your users. I talked about advanced analytics supported by AI, tariff recommendations, predictive customer retentions, receivable projections, billing accuracy projections, these are on top of the standard content of BW that basically you would be able to get from any non-catalyst solution. In summary, uh, if you are looking at uh, for a comprehensive solution discovery, at the same time process standardization, uh, you are looking at acceleration of the core solution, use of standard and best practices for the industry, uh, you're looking at introduce, reducing the implementation timeline. This pre-configured accelerator-driven accelerator -driven solution uh, can deliver 80% of your requirements out of the box. And while doing so, it can bring in the efficiency and quality to your work. Take the example of a parallel bill compare tool. 
uh, we used this tool and could achieve 99.9% billing accuracy in the first two months of implementation. Uh, the new intuitive UI dashboards can result in the reduction of your average call handling time of your service agents. The simplifications, the ML and the bots can help you reduce the unbuilt revenue. It can help you enhance user experience, simplify user training by theory process recordings. Overall, it can reduce the implementation cost by 30%, and it would help you to visualize your future transformations with a cloud-first and mobile-first approach. As we do all this, all of this, uh, can we move to the next slide about how you can start of uh, moving towards this uh, uh, towards this journey. Obviously, uh, you would need to have a strategy uh, for, uh, uh, for moving to these solutions. You need to bring in the best practices and uh, the need of the digital CIS. You would need a detailed current, current system assessment. You would need process simplifications, landscape and optimal development for that you'd uh, need the final recommendations and then create the implementation plan. And we help, can help you to bring in all of this. As you go to the next slide to look at uh, the kind of initiation services that we bring in, we can bring you the full suite of services, which is our platinum, uh, which is our uh, uh, Sapphire services, which brings in the technical, functional and infrastructure assessment along with the architecture, development, roadmap, and project management and project plan, plus the assessment of, with respect to change management, your data assessment, your business case support. And typically, we take it around 12 to 16 weeks. However, if you are not taking the step for this larger assessment, we can bring to you a platinum assessment, which will take care of uh, the architecture, deployment roadmap, and project management. Probably leave the change management and the business case support for a next phase. Or if you are looking at a very quick assessment of what it means to you, we can come and do a complementary IT focused silver assessment, focusing primarily on the technical, functional, and the infrastructure requirements. So, with this, I hand it back to Sapnil uh, to draw the conclusions. Thank you very much, Deepankar. Uh, uh, this was a very, very informative uh, webinar that uh, both uh, you and Anthony undertook. I believe it was very interesting to hear about the efficiencies, the modernization, and the advancement that the SAP S4 CIS platform is bringing to the table. Anthony talked about it. And uh, obviously, you elucidated about how Infosys Catalyst platform is helping customers implement these advancements much faster. So, so. Uh, in addition to that, I just wanted to highlight one more thing that Infosys and SAP, we just completed an implementation of SAP CIS uh, uh, platform uh, at one of the industry leading, uh, you know, uh, uh, one of the industry leading implementations in North America for SAP CIS. So, so we would be very excited to share our experiences, our learnings from that implementation and also to all the folks who are listening to this webinar, if you have any questions, if you have any questions uh, and queries uh, regarding the discussion today, we look forward to hearing from you and having much more in-depth discussions on that and uh, being part of your uh, SAP CIS uh, journey. Again, thank you all for your time today and thank you, Anthony, and thank you, Dipankar, for taking us through this uh, informative webinar today. Thank you all.